South Korea and China have been continuously discussing ways to deal with North Korea's recent violations, and they've gotten another step closer to finding common ground on the matter during strategic talks held in Seoul on Tuesday. Hwang Zhuo tells us what issues were on the table. South Korea-China relations have never been better. That's what South Korea's vice foreign minister and his Chinese counterpart Zhang Yesu agreed on during the first bilateral strategic meeting between the two sides in almost three years. According to Seoul's foreign ministry, Seoul-Beijing relations, the situation on the Korean peninsula and other international matters of mutual interest were addressed. That included agreeing that measures should be taken against North Korea's latest provocations. The deployment of a U.S. THAAD missile defense system to South Korea was also on the table. We exchanged opinions on the THAAD system. China has expressed opposition to its deployment. We hope that related countries take cautious action. With Korea, of course, being one of those countries, concerns have been raised over the possibility of THAAD influencing bilateral relations. The THAAD issue is just one possible dilemma in further improving South Korea-China relations. China might be stating its opposition sternly, but it's unlikely to take any retaliatory measures against the THAAD system. According to officials, talks on the adoption of a new UN Security Council resolution against Pyongyang were also high on the agenda. Sources from the UN and China are saying there has been made significant progress on that front, but Seoul's foreign ministry has not yet given an update on that. All I can say is that there is movement, but we cannot make predictions about the specific timing of an adoption on a resolution. There have been suggestions, though, that China and the U.S. appear to be closer to narrowing their differences. I think uh, it unlikely that China wants to be seen by the international community as the protector of North Korea. Uh, I expect that uh, they will indeed uh, come on board with significant new sanctions, uh, and we're working towards that end. In 2012, it took 41 days for the UN Security Council to punish the North for its missile launch, which makes the process this time around the longest yet. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.